Hi, Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak. Taking a look at the cuboid and its ability to go more into a dorsal direction. We've done videos before we did traction manipulation. This is a kind of a nice one. You could test it. So if the patient's in that position, you can go in here, grab onto the cuboid. Here's the fifth met cuboid. Remember the cuboid is two thirds of the bottom. If I can grab it, I can turn the leg in a little bit and I can get that glide. You see we have a good glide going through for that. If it was restricted, I could mobilize it like that. Or there's another manipulation. Typically you'll see the, the whip, which I'm gonna know is a, a fan of. But you could do a modified, you kind of rename it to a modified whip. Take your fingers on the cuboid. What I want to do is I want to plantar flex the foot, not the ankle. I don't want to be doing this in the ankle. I don't want to irritate anything in the front. What I'm doing is plantar flexing the midfoot, inverting so it feels like it hits my finger, and then the nip can just be on the table. You okay with that? Okay. So we'll be in that position. So we go there, plantar flex, invert, and I have that. And the nip is just down into the table. What's a nice part of it is you're getting that plantar flexion inversion and you're able to hold it. And then when you get there, the whip, the whip part is using the table to stop it. Come through it once you're done with that. You can turn the leg in internal rotation again, grab onto the cuboid and mobilize it in a direction to see if it, it regained this joint part. Really good for patients who had some of ankle sprain. You just can't figure out why they're still not moving well through there. They still have pain and limitations as they move this part of their foot. Bob Shapiro from Technique.